Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. In this video, we will learn about reading and writing video files using Open CV. Multiple images are put together to create a video, and these images are called video frames. Open CV has separate functions to work with videos. Let's take a look at them. To read the video stream, we first need to create a video capture object. It inputs a video source as well as the preferred API backend. The video source can be a webcam or an external camera, or it can be a file on your local system, or a sequence of images, or a video stream URL. However, this will just create a video capture object. To actually read the video frames, we use the member function read. which returns a boolean flag as well as the current video frame apart from read you can also get video properties like the current video frame set video properties or check whether your video capture object is opened these are all member functions of video capture similarly to write a video we need to create a video writer object It inputs the output file name, a four-character code of codec or fork, the output video FPS, and its resolution. Again, this will just create a video writer object. To actually write the video frames, we need to use the member function write. It only inputs the frame that needs to be saved. Anyway, let's try these functions out on code. To follow along with me. Open the Learn Open CV blog post link from the description. Click on the download code banner, fill in your details and hit enter. You'll receive the starter code link on your email. Download it and let's get started. First, we will import Open CV and NumPy. Next, we will create a video capture object and pass the source video file. Don't forget to release the object. Now let's see if the video is open. Good. Now let's get the FPS, the total frame count, the height and the width of the video. Good. Now let's read and display the video frames. First we need to loop over the video and read the frame. Now you can perform image operations on the frame. For now, we'll just display it. If you increase or decrease the weight key value, the video will be displayed slower or faster. Let's change the input video and increase the weight key value. You see the video getting slower? If these concepts are difficult to grasp, check out OpenCV University's free OpenCV bootcamp. Go to opencv.org/university/freecourse to know more. Now let's change the source to webcam and write the video. Now to write the video, we need to create a video writer object, provide the output file name, the video fork, output video FPS and the frame size. Note that we need to convert the decimal values to integers. Next, we will convert the current frame to grayscale and then stack them thrice because OpenCV only writes 3 channel images as videos. Now, write this frame and finally release the video writer object. So that's all about reading and writing videos using OpenCV. If you like this video, check out our complete playlist on getting started with OpenCV. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.